So you know each other. Just like old times. After doing the cameo in the third film, it became clear to me that people wanted to see the Fast and the Furious and for saying, hey, then get in there and do the movie. It's been eight years and I've traveled all around the world. It seems like no matter where I go, there's always somebody that's going to be there to recognize and give a little respect. People like it. And they always ask, when are you going to make another one? Make some money! The crew is back. <laughs> Liquid gold. Uh -huh. That's going to be something that this movie has it that hasn't happened since part one. I think there's a bit of nostalgia and everybody wants to know, you know, where all those characters went and what happened to them. When I did the last one, I had so much fun. And at the same time, I didn't want to come back unless we can really kind of explore kind of the, the mythology of this franchise. Ride or die, remember? This Fast and Furious is a Fast and Furious where our characters have grown up a bit and are dealing with life in a real way. This film actually is going to tie a lot of the loose ends between characters of all three films. The film picks up with an incident that happens to one of Dom's close confidants, and all the characters have to come back to L.A. I told you not to come. They're staking the place out if they find you. They won't. They go back to America. For Dom, that's a very dangerous move. You here to take me in, O'Connor? Hell no. She's my friend, too. Paul and Vin are on a mission. They're both doing it for different end results, but they both have the same reason for going to do what they feel like they have to go do. The bad guys are a drug cartel. Big, big money. Running heroin. Rog is mine. I'm taking the whole house now. Good luck. There's a lot of tension right off. And then there comes a point where they realize it's all water under the bridge. There isn't anybody I'd rather have my back than Dominic Toretto. Fast and Furious is about sacrifice, it's about revenge, it's about family. And having the original cast back was important. I'm going with you. I ain't coming back. I know. There's nothing more satisfying than being able to do it with the same team that you did the first one. It's always good coming back, hang out with people I like spending time with. I think there's a sense of responsibility to the fans to take it to the next level, to really push it, and to really be respectful to the characters. So this is where my jurisdiction is. And this is where mine begins. It's all coming home. Don is coming home.